if you got a pack of ground turkey and don't know what to do with it, watch this video. So first of all, you're going to go ahead and cut you up some small sweet peppers. Or you could cut you up some bell peppers and some onions. Tonight, we're making some stuffed bell peppers. Yep. So you're going to need this trigger warning. Do I be triggering y'all when I do that? <laughs> Yep, I do rinse off my meat as well. I don't like packaged meat, so I clean it. Y'all mad? Anyway, I went ahead and seasoned it with some sazon, some dennos, and a little bit of garlic seasoning. I want to say that was. Yeah, you need to season your meats, okay? And then I went ahead and cleaned my bell peppers off as well. Trigger warning, yep, you need to clean those because they grow from the soil. Yeah, so you need to clean that. Anyway, you can choose to cut them however you want to to stuff them. I chose to split them in half. A lot of times people just cut off the rim. But however you want to do it is your choice. And then after I do that, I clean them again as well. You can use some veggie wash or some baking soda and warm water. Anyway, once you go ahead and clean them and cut them to however you want to cut them, you want to go ahead and put them in a pan. Um, oil them down with a little bit of olive oil and salt and pepper. Put them in the oven on three... 50 for about 10 or so minutes yep and then for your mixture you want to go ahead and um add your bell peppers and your onions you want to add you some rice and some seasonings it doesn't matter what you use i added some tomato paste and ginger paste as well to get it to this color and this texture and instead of adding water to make it more moist i added some turkey broth whatever kind of broth that you're using you want to make sure the meat matches so like if you have hamburger meat use um beef broth if you have chicken you know chicken broth but i had turkey so i used some turkey broth anyway once you go ahead and get your mixture together you want to put them into your bell peppers add some mozzarella cheese on top and put them in an oven on 400 degrees for like about 10 minutes i added some bell some um red peppers and some paprika on top to give it a little kick and some parsley of course for color yeah, y'all, and it was super good. This is a super quick and easy dinner recipe. Stuffed bell peppers. If you want to try it, try this recipe and let me know how you like it. And voila, y'all, it was so delicious. Look how good that looked. Mm-hmm, crispy. Yeah, try this recipe. <laughs>